Hello and welcome to our channel Shine Despite Narcissists. This space is dedicated to transforming victims of narcissistic abuse into survivors. Our mission is to empower you with the necessary knowledge and spiritual guidance to navigate life and shine, despite having to deal with narcissists. If you find our content helpful, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. You could also help someone by sharing this video and leaving a comment below. We truly appreciate your support. Today, we're delving deep into an important topic. How to safely distance yourself from a narcissist. So stay tuned as we unravel the layers of understanding narcissism, recognizing its behaviors, protecting yourself from its abuse, and most importantly, learning how to safely distance yourself from a narcissist. Let's start the journey together. Welcome to our discussion on a subject matter that affects many lives, narcissism. Narcissism is not just about self-love or being self-centered, as it's often misunderstood. It's a psychological disorder, specifically a personality disorder characterized by an inflated sense of self-importance, a deep need for excessive attention and admiration, troubled relationships, and a lack of empathy for others. Now it's important to differentiate between healthy self-esteem and narcissism. Self-esteem is about acknowledging and appreciating your own worth and abilities. It's about self-respect and self-love. Narcissism, on the other hand, is an overinflated sense of self-worth, often to the point of belittling or disregarding others, paired with an intense need for admiration from others. This personality disorder can have profound effects on relationships and mental health. A relationship with a narcissist can be draining, as they tend to manipulate and control their partners, often causing them to question their own worth and sanity. This is known as gaslighting. It's a form of psychological abuse that can lead to anxiety, depression, and even post-traumatic stress disorder. From a mental health perspective, narcissism isn't just harmful to those around the narcissist. The narcissist themselves often struggle with maintaining healthy relationships, holding down jobs, and leading a fulfilling life. They are frequently dissatisfied, as they constantly seek validation and attention that never quite fills the void. In some cases, narcissism can be a response to trauma or neglect during childhood. However, it's important to remember that understanding the root cause of someone's behavior doesn't excuse it. It's also crucial to note that not everyone who is self-centered or confident is a narcissist. Narcissism is a specific disorder with a set of distinct characteristics. Comprehending narcissism is the first step towards our journey of distancing ourselves from it. It's about recognizing the signs, understanding its impacts, and learning how to protect ourselves and our mental health. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into this topic in our next segment. Now, with a basic understanding of narcissism, we delve into recognizing its manifestations. Narcissistic behavior can be complex and multifaceted, but there are common traits that tend to surface. Three notable ones are manipulation, a lack of empathy, and a constant need for admiration. Manipulation is a key tool in the narcissist's toolbox. It's like the art of puppeteering, where the narcissist pulls the strings to make others dance to their tune. This can take many forms, from gaslighting, where they make you question your reality, to playing the victim when they are the ones causing harm. A narcissist may tell you, you're too sensitive, or I never said that, to manipulate your perception of events. Next, we have a lack of empathy, this is a cornerstone of narcissistic behavior. Empathy is the ability to understand and share the feelings of others. However, narcissists often struggle with this. They can't put themselves in your shoes and feel what you're feeling. This lack of empathy allows them to harm others without feeling guilt or remorse. You may find a narcissist dismissive of your feelings or even mocking them. Finally, the constant need for admiration. Narcissists crave attention and praise, they want to be the star of the show, the center of attention. They may constantly seek compliments and validation, often becoming upset or angry if they don't receive it. A narcissist might say, don't I look amazing? Or, wasn't my idea brilliant? In an attempt to fish for compliments. These are just a few examples of narcissistic behavior. It's important to remember that not everyone who displays these traits is a narcissist. However, if these behaviors are persistent and cause harm, it's a red flag. Recognizing these behaviors can empower us to take necessary action. But remember, you're not alone on this journey. We're here to help you navigate through, to inform you, and to equip you with the knowledge necessary to shine despite narcissists. 
Awareness is power, and with this power we can learn to protect ourselves. The first step in protecting ourselves from narcissistic abuse is setting boundaries. Boundaries are crucial because they define the limits of our personal space and indicate to others how we wish to be treated. They are our personal no trespassing signs. Remember it's okay to say no. Narcissists often disregard boundaries viewing them as a challenge. If a narcissist disrespects your boundaries, it's essential to enforce them even if it leads to conflict. Stand firm and remind the narcissist that your boundaries are non-negotiable. If they continue to cross these boundaries, it may be necessary to distance yourself from them. Next, seek support. Dealing with a narcissist can be isolating and emotionally draining. It's important to surround yourself with positive influences, people who understand what you're going through and can provide emotional support. This could be a trusted friend, a family member, or even a professional therapist. Sharing your experiences can help alleviate feelings of guilt or confusion that often accompany narcissistic abuse. Support groups, either online or in person, can also be beneficial. They provide a space where you can connect with others who have endured similar experiences. Lastly, focus on self-care. Narcissistic abuse can leave you feeling emotionally depleted. It's important to take time for yourself to heal and recharge. This could involve activities that you enjoy, such as reading a book, taking a walk in nature, or practicing mindfulness exercises. Remember, it's not selfish to prioritize your own needs and well-being. It's also helpful to educate yourself about narcissism. Understanding the condition can shed light on the narcissist's behavior, helping you to not take their actions personally. Knowledge can empower you, providing a sense of control in a situation that may otherwise feel overwhelming. Implementing these strategies can aid in safeguarding our mental and emotional well-being. Remember, it's okay to put yourself first and to distance yourself from those who threaten your peace. You deserve respect, kindness, and love. Don't settle for anything less. Distancing oneself from a narcissist can be challenging, but it is possible. The first step is to limit contact as much as possible. Now, if the narcissist is a co-worker or a family member, this might be easier said than done, but it's crucial. The less you interact with a narcissist, the less power they have over your emotions and your life. Next, consider seeking professional help. Therapists and counselors who specialize in narcissistic abuse can provide invaluable insights and coping strategies. They can help you navigate the complex emotions that come with distancing yourself from a narcissist and can provide a safe space for you to express your feelings and fears. Remember, it's okay to ask for help. You don't have to do this alone. Now let's talk about your support network. This can include friends, family, support groups, or even online communities. Surround yourself with people who understand what you're going through and can provide emotional support. It's important to remember that you're not alone in this journey. There are countless others who have walked the same path and emerged stronger on the other side. One important thing to remember is to establish and maintain boundaries. Narcissists are notorious for disregarding the personal boundaries of others, so it's essential that you make yours clear. Be firm and consistent. It's okay to say no. Your mental health and well-being are paramount, and it's okay to prioritize them. Lastly, focus on self-care. This journey is undoubtedly tough, and it's important to take care of yourself physically, emotionally, and mentally. Practice mindfulness, engage in activities that you enjoy, and take time to rest and recharge. Remember, healing is a journey, not a destination. Remember, it's not about winning or losing, it's about preserving your mental health and well-being. You are brave, you are strong, and you are capable of reclaiming your life from a narcissist. And remember, you're not alone. There's a whole community here, ready and willing to support you every step of the way. The journey of distancing oneself from a narcissist is not easy, but it is one of the most important steps towards healing. This journey, like all others, begins and ends with you. It's about reclaiming your strength, your self-esteem, and your right to live a life free from manipulation and control. Self-care is paramount during this time. It's about treating yourself with kindness, compassion, and respect. It's about giving yourself permission to rest, to grieve, and to heal. You've been through a lot, and it's okay to take time for yourself. You deserve it. Seeking therapy can be a game changer. A professional who understands narcissistic abuse can provide the tools and strategies you need to heal. They can help you understand the dynamics of what you've been through, validate your experiences, 
and guide you towards a healthier, happier future. Embracing positivity is also crucial. It might feel challenging at first, particularly when you're dealing with the aftermath of a narcissistic relationship. But remember, positivity isn't about ignoring the negative. It's about acknowledging it, processing it, and then choosing to focus on the good in your life. You have survived, you are strong, and you have a whole future ahead of you, a future that you get to shape. Staying strong is perhaps the most important thing you can do. You might have days when you feel like crumbling, and that's okay. But remember, you are stronger than you think. You've already taken the first steps towards healing by distancing yourself from the narcissist. Every step you take, no matter how small, is a victory. And remember, you are not alone on this journey. There are others who have walked this path before you, and there are those who are walking it alongside you now. You are part of a community of survivors, a community that understands, supports and uplifts one another. You are not alone on this journey. Together we can overcome. As we draw to a close, let's ponder upon a piece of advice from the Bible. The profound depiction of love from the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verses 4 to 7 tells us, Love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs, love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth, it always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. In your journey to heal and to distance yourself from narcissism, hold this image of love close. It is your inherent right to be loved in this way, and it is this kind of love that will guide your healing and growth. Embrace this love, the patience, the kindness, the truth, and the perseverance it brings. Remember, love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. It does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. We appreciate your time spent with us. If you found this content valuable, please take a moment to subscribe, like, share and comment.